But one of the things that makes us particularly vulnerable to manipulation or a, a manipulator is that one or some of these characteristics are dominant in our lives. They are a dominant desire. They are a deep, dominant desire in your life. And because this is a dominant, powerful desire or need in your life, <clears throat> it makes you susceptible to manipulation. Let's go down through a, a few of them. First of all, a fearful atmosphere or spirit. We saw this take place, and I don't have time to, <clears throat> again, I wish I could, but just three years ago, we saw as this new created disease created in a Chinese laboratory swept across the world, an atmosphere, I have never lived or existed in an atmosphere of fear, and, and it, was, it, it was and is a genuine disease. We're not in denial. It did end the lives of millions of people, but it created an atmosphere of fear. It was almost palpable across the nation, and it made us vulnerable and whole societies and nations vulnerable to manipulation and deception. A fearful atmosphere or a fearful individual, a spirit of fear in your life, fear of man's opinion, fear of rejection. Maybe you've experienced rejection in your life and you, you have a fear of being rejected by people. Perhaps you have a fear of pain or discomfort, or maybe you have a fear of the penalty of not going along. You're, you're afraid of the ramifications, of the results, and therefore you are in a spirit of fear that makes you vulnerable to manipulation. A spirit of fear makes a person vulnerable to manipulation. A, 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 a low self-esteem, a deep desire for love and acceptance. And we all have a deep desire for love. All of us want to be accepted. I don't know of anyone in here that, that really, if you ask them, would say, no, I want everybody in the world to hate me. None of us do. Everyone wants a certain level of acceptance. But remember, when this becomes a dominant overriding theme in your mind and need, a need in your heart, you must have, you are seeking for love. There was an old song that said, looking for love in all the wrong places. You're seeking, you're desiring, you have an overwhelming desire for love and acceptance, to feel important, to be made to feel important. You are open prey for a manipulator a desire to please, a people pleaser, afraid to hurt someone's feelings, fearful of hurting anyone's feelings, desiring to walk through life without offending anyone. You're a people pleaser. You, you are concerned and you want everyone to like you. A desire to please, that makes you open to manipulation. Ambitious. Now everyone has ambition. In fact, that, that's part of how God has created us, but again, this is an individual that would be dri driven, driven to do something, to be something, to be great, to have their name noticed, to do something wonderful. They're driven with ambition to earn this amount of money. They have goals, they're ambitious, makes you vulnerable, believe it or not, to a skillful manipulator. It is a weakness. And isolation and loneliness makes you vulnerable to a manipulator a hunger for companionship, a deep desire for attention. You're longing, you feel like no one really loves you. You feel like, you feel like no one pays much attention. You're, we see that on social media. Social media has become a, a tremendous insight, a, a, a magnified camera into the lives of individuals. I am just astonished what people put on Facebook and on TikTok and social media. I am blown away how they are so hungry for attention, so hungry for someone to give them a thumb up or a like or a comment. And they're desiring this attention. That makes you 100% vulnerable to manipulation. Somebody who's a good manipulator will take that weakness and will utilize it to their own benefit. Naivety, what does that mean? It means you're naive. It means you have a certain ignorance and inner innocence about life. The Bible says in Romans 16, 18, for such people are not serving our Lord Christ, but their own appetites. By smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the minds of naive 
people. Manipulators use smooth talk. Oh, they're good at it. They know how to read people. And they're very good at it. You'll never know you're being manipulated because they use smooth talk and flattery. I remember I had a friend that before I would leave his presence, he would hug me and, and whisper in my ear, you're special. I thought that was really nice until I discovered that everybody he hugged, he whispered in their ear, they're special. That, that is, that smooth, it feels good. <clears throat> that feels so good. And, and so that smooth talk, and all of that appeals to individuals who are naive. Naive means deficient in worldly wisdom or informed judgment. Open prey. And then finally, the last weakness and vulnerability is pride, believe it or not. Pride is the greatest weakness. Because pride, like deception, is personally blinding. An individual who is proud does not know they're proud. Let me say that again. An individual who is proud and everyone around them knows they're proud does not know they're proud they would in fact defend their humility. And a proud pride blinds the individual that, that has it. But because of pride, it actually makes you an easy target for a manipulator. A manipulator, again, many of them are very intelligent and very good at reading people. <clears throat> and so they read that person that's proud and they play into that. And if you're proud, they give you what you want to hear. And so, it, it, you know, and, and it's amazing. Sometimes down through the years, I have been gently trying to help an individual that I recognize as being deceived. <clears throat> and I mean, it's very apparent. And as I'm talking to them, they keep interrupting me. And they keep saying, I know. <clears throat> oh, I know. Oh, I know. And I get to the point where I just give up. I think I can't tell you anything. You're not listening to me. That's all, that is all an indication of pride. And pride fools the individual and a manipulator. It makes you most vulnerable to manipulation. So how do I stay, point number five, how do I stay alert and spot deception and manipulation? What are some basic principles that will help me to not be deceived, to not be manip manipulated? Of course, you know if you're being intimidated because you cower down to that individual or that institution. You cower down to their wishes and their desires against your own. You sacrifice your own self-worth and self-choice for theirs because you're intimidated. But manipula manipulation and deception are different. So what is the first thing that I can do to help myself stay alert from deception to spot deception and manipulation? It sounds very easy, but it's not.